Okay, if you look at the top right hand of our screen right now, as you can see, we have 175 around FPS. We're gonna blow this thing up just to show you guys that this is working. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh my gosh, no, the horses. Okay, look at that FPS counter. All the way down to 50 frames was the lowest, and then it will go back up. So that's proof that it is working. Okay, here's one more piece of evidence that this FPS counter does work. So look, we're at 100 FPS right now. If we look away from it, Look at that, we're at like 170. And then once again, we look at it with all these sheep and bamboo and stuff. We go back down all the way to 100. So this does work once again. All right, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, okay. Hey, horsey, no, please, please. Okay, don't walk too close to that, please. Okay, we're gonna put on a saddle. I'm pretty sure I set this up right, but if we get close to this sensor on the horse, I'm pretty sure, uh oh, we're pretty close to it. Oh, okay, oh no. Oh my gosh, yo, why was that so delayed? Let's have a replay on our FPS what that just dropped down to because I was not looking at that, but do you see all those sheep going all over the place? That was crazy. Look at this. It wasn't me, it was the horse. What the heck? That was pretty crazy, but if we go into our settings and then go to like video right here, Let's say we turn off all of these things. Our whole game should not look that good and render distance down five chunks, or down to five chunks, ready? So if we do this, as you can see, our FPS goes up to like 190. That is kind of a big jump, but as you can see, our game does not look as good and we can't really see. If we just look straight up, look at that. Can we hit 200? But look at that, we look like straight up and hide our uh, HUD. As you can see, look, we got like 194. We might be able to hit 200. So obviously everything is going to be uh, different for your computer. You might be able to get like 400 FPS, but look, if we put this setting onto 16, we will make our game probably lag pretty bad. So even if we look up at the sky, we still only get 147 compared to like 175 or 180. So we're losing three frames from putting the setting on. But once again, you guys can play around with all these like in-game settings. But yeah, as you can see, we do have a FOV counter in the top right. This will work for Java and Bedrock and actually any other game that you want to play it. On mobile, I am working on trying to find a reliable or make a reliable uh, FPS counter. So yeah, wait on that if you are on mobile. But yeah, for PC, once again, this will work for pretty much any game. But um, yeah, if this video does help you guys out, please make sure you have a like. But anyways, let's get right into this tutorial. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to your uh, bottom bar right here and press the search button or press the Windows key on your keyboard. And once you have that up, you're going to look for the app GeForce Experience. You're going to have a, you're going to have to have an NVIDIA um, graphics card for this, but I think most people do. But yeah, once you log into here, on the top right, you're going to see this little settings. Make sure you press on that. It will take you to this page right here. And then all you're going to have to do is go down to settings where it says in-game overlay. Make sure that is on. That has to be on. And then you're going to press settings right here. And then you're going to go to HUD layout. And then right here, you're going to press performance, FPS. And then you're gonna press wherever you want it. You can have it top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. So I'm just gonna move it to the top left. As you guys know before, it was on the top right, but just to show that this does work, I'm gonna move it to the top left. So yeah, press this, press what box you want it in, press back, press done. And then if we return it to our game, it might take a second, but as you can see on the top left, we have our FPS counter. And once again, it does work. So if we look up, it will give us more FPS. Wow, 194? That was pretty good. But then if we go around and play and wave our mouse all the way around, as you can see, it's going to go down. Let's try a public server. I'm actually kind of um, curious. I'm curious if it's going to be like really bad. I haven't played um, a public server in a while, but let's, go in, but let's go into a quick Hive, maybe Skywars game. So in the lobby, I have 88 FPS. Once again, my computer is not that great. Obviously, it might be better than some, probably worse than some, definitely worse than some. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I have a steady like maybe 100 FPS, but let's go into a Skywars game. Uh, I'll just do solos. Don't judge my uh, playing on this. I know I'm bad. So uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about that. But we're really, wow, we're actually getting a good amount of FPS for a public server that people are joining. And there's a lot of builds over here. So 185 is definitely not bad. The server like owners must have to do some stuff to make it like um, 
so you don't like lag like crazy because there's like so many people on the server and even just in this game so but yeah we got a solid 190 fps let's go ahead and just play this game out just to see when or why it will go down or up probably self-explanatory will go down you know when you either have like maybe lava in front of you or if you're fighting someone but uh ooh, sharpness one diamond sword i'm pretty sure these things give you like armor right yeah i remember this i haven't played skywars in so long but i just remember i i do remember this part though where you have to like just mine away these things are like a 50 50 don't they like sometimes steal a heart from you the the redstone i'm not 100 percent sure if you guys do play pvp and you want to see some cool texture packs best texture packs i could go through all of them for you guys leave a comment down below if you guys do play like not competitively but you know you, you guys do play online because uh oh oh no no don't not okay i didn't even hit him once all right watch <laughs> i just got destroyed by that one guy but once again that's not the point of the video you guys could rewind it and take a look at the fps maybe when i was fighting when i was falling but as you can see it does work all right so right here i just loaded up a resource pack that is supposed to make your game look uh definitely different and we're gonna see how the fps actually acts so let's actually turn it to uh daytime real quick but then let's go ahead and like whoa these textures where's the face wow look at this wood this looks really really different i can see a lot of people liking this a lot and a lot of people hating this a lot but once again this is just for the purpose of the fps so we're at 100 right now um and we're just flying around so yeah this texture pack definitely makes it go down but once again it makes your game look completely different literally almost every single block i believe but here is a village right over here let's go ahead and just check take a look at all the blocks and maybe i wonder if like if we look at certain blocks probably the wheat right so if we look at the wheat what is our frames gonna be so we have 128 130 it's pretty steady about 120 to 130 now let's look at like this right here okay 120 is on the lower end though it's 115 100 now oh okay wait why did it just go back up oh do you know why i think it just went back up i'm not sure if this is true but if we turn around this guy just broke all these wheat blocks so look at it right now we're at like 160 if we break all this will we go up is the question we will it will take a little bit but i think that's the reason so yeah if you are wow look at that texture that's actually pretty crazy but yeah that was a perfect example you saw right when we broke that wheat it totally just jumped up and um so yeah when we're flying around it's probably low because all these leaf blocks have to render in on the super high resolution like you know texture pack but yeah that makes 100 percent like oh that that makes sense so if we look down though at this like kind of grainy but not really look we have 188 fps that's pretty good but anyways that's gonna be the end of the video if you guys uh have any questions or have any trouble make sure you leave a comment i will respond to you and help you guys out but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one